Hello, my name is Callum Preston. I'm an artist and I work here in my studio in Fitzroy in Melbourne. So today we're going to work on a project that I like to think of as a way to organize my chaos. When I'm working on big projects, which can be anything from painting murals, making signs, creating installations and artworks like that, canvas works or even digital design. I think that the most important thing for me is to get my thoughts in order. So I take a lot of notes and I keep a lot of notes. I used to keep them on loose post-its written on the back of my hand, on a scrap of paper somewhere, and I would always tend to lose them. So a few years ago, I got into the habit of always carrying a notebook. I needed a notebook that I could not only make lists in, but when ideas struck, I could keep a note of them and use them as a bit of an inspiration diary when I see a sticker or a label or even just something out of a newspaper or magazine I'll often cut it out and glue it in there for future reference just sparks an idea or maybe it just looks cool it was really helpful as a way to get all my ideas straight it meant that the projects I created were so much better because I had a structure behind them I wish I'd kind of discovered that earlier because I think I've had a lot of ideas for things over time you tend to forget them Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a desktop organizer for a small notebook and some pens that you can customize yourself. Something to know that it's your little space. Whenever you have a creative thought, you can just swing by, make a note of it, and you know it's safe there to just keep creativity flowing. These notebooks can be a visual diary as a written journal, note-taking and list-making, or just for fun drawings and scribbles. What we're gonna be building today is your ideas organizer for your desktop. Let's check out how it's done. Okay, so we have some templates here. You can find these on the website for downloading. You're gonna cut them out just along the black lines that are marked on each piece. So some materials we're using today. We're gonna need a Sharpie, some scissors or a knife, some tape. I'm also using a hot glue gun and I use a steel ruler for cutting edges, but you can just get away with using only scissors for this project. We also need some cardboard. I found this cardboard in the recycling bins of my apartment building. I also found this interesting orange box, which I thought had some cool graphics on it. We might be able to use that later, we'll see. So cut out some sections of the cardboard. I like to use these end flaps because they have a nice straight edge. That means you already have a head start when you lay your template on there. So you trace around your template and you'll see, it's pretty basic, but this one has four templates of this exact same one we need. So you can see here, I've duplicated that four times onto different pieces, always using that nice straight edge. It does some of the work for you. So this is our base plate. The base plate, once again, using the straight edge along the cardboard, trace around it. We will be cutting those out soon. So this is the front piece. You can see it says front panel. So we're gonna lay that over a part of the box that I felt was the most interesting. I just thought it had a cool pattern to it. And I really love the printing style of these fruit boxes. So I'm cutting that out. Here's me using the steel ruler and knife. You may need an adult supervision with that, but you can also use just the scissors. Uh, and finally, I'm cutting the back panel. Now going through and cutting out all of our cardboard pieces for our layout. So you can see there, now it's time to get taping. So I do a little rough tape here where just using some little pieces of masking tape, we can mock together the box and start to see how it lays out. So you see there, you've got your front, back and sides and then dividers. And now I'm using my notebooks to space and see where the right spot is. Just throwing some pens in there to see that it all works. It's come up great and I'm stoked on that front piece of orange. So now that I've got my position, I put a little bit of tape there and you can see the layout coming together. Now, I'm using a hot glue gun. You have to be very careful, these do get very hot, but as you can see here, I'm gonna pull apart the masking tape stuff and glue it all together. You don't have to do this, you could just add more tape and make it stronger. I would suggest using something like a gaffer tape uh, that's gonna really grip onto the cardboard. I used this masking tape because it was pretty lightweight and it could be peeled off easy enough so that I could come in with my hot glue. I just like the finish of hot glue better and it really makes it quite a rigid piece. So once you fit all your things in there, now it's gonna be time to customize it. Oh, another option too is just wrapping all your edges in tape. This could be decorative, but also for strength. So customizing, I've decided this is my ideas box. So I'm illustrating an ideas header here for the box and to make it my own and make it special, I just grabbed a bunch of stickers that I had laying around and I'm gonna put them all over it and kind of cut them up, collage them on in different ways 
Just to make this thing interesting, I really like having things on my desktop that are intriguing and interesting to look at while I'm working. And then I've just drawn some little doodads and squiggles just to fill out the space and make it a bit more fun. So basically, this is where it ends up. It's your desktop organizer. Now I can store in it some pens, pencils, textures, glue stick, and my notebooks. I have them there, I can whip them out whenever I need, make a note. I can also flick through my older notebooks, look at previous ideas and how far I've come along in doing that. And I'm super excited to just have all these things in one place now. Keeping notes is really good practice and it also, for me, helps generate even more ideas. So there you go. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Obviously, you can make these bigger, wider, you can make multiple and have different ones on your desks for different things. I hope that you really enjoyed working on this and it's made your organization a little bit better so that you can clear your mind for all of your brilliant creative ideas. Thanks a lot.